I gave a hair dryer about 15 years ago. Uh, back then I was doing swimming uh, three times a week and washing and hair drying my hair three times a week. So uh, because my hair is too thick and uh, was longer back then, I uh, spent about half an hour to hair dry uh, my hair to get it right and kind of straight black like I like it uh, so uh, I just got tired of doing all that work I don't own uh, an iron for the past uh, 10 years now uh, I was in my late 20s the person that ironed everything from clothes to towels but I got tired uh, after so many years ironing so much things. So I start uh, buying clothes that don't require uh, to iron. And um, even if they get uh, some wrinkles, I always uh, wash them and pull it, put it to dry in a hanger. Um, it was such... Uh, freedom uh, not to iron nothing anymore I uh, gave up on iron so I sold my iron I don't own a TV anymore uh, because I stopped uh, watching TV about two and a half years ago um, I'd rather be on my computer or uh, on my smartphone or to go out um, so uh, it was useless so I sold it when I moved into this house about five and a half years ago I really bought a little fridge for the kitchen but after uh, six months I realized I don't need a fridge in this house why uh, because this is a centenary house with large uh, exterior walls that keeps the temperature uh, in uh, even in the summer when it's uh, 40 degrees Celsius outside inside my house is about 25 the most so uh, my kitchen is in the back of the house um, and is very fresh all the time Besides, uh, since I became a vegan, it all turned out to be more simple. Uh, I don't have meat or fish or eggs to preserve. Um, so uh, I buy uh, fresh veggies and fruits and uh, my grains are all uh, dry. And I use rice, pasta, uh, potatoes as starch. Um, and I can preserve all of this since I moved into this house five and a half years ago I don't own a washing machine uh, because my kitchen uh, is too small and if I had a washing machine uh, I couldn't uh, walk around the kitchen at ease so um, in summer I wash uh, my clothes by hand and I uh, hair dry it on my backyard uh, in winter I just go to the laundromat I have a laundromat a five minutes walk from my home and I have a customer card so uh, it's not expensive for me I don't have an oven either because I have a love and hate relationship with ovens uh, each time I have a, an oven I start using uh, using it too much so uh, my electricity bill goes up um, and that uh, makes me hate ovens uh, so because I don't want to get worry about bills I hate to get worry about bills so um, in all my adult life I've had about three ovens uh, the two first ovens uh, broke 
and then I didn't get right away another oven. I spent uh, some years without oven um, and my last oven before I moved in to this house five and a half years ago um, was gift uh, to me by a friend and when I uh, moved into this house I sold it because uh, like I said for the other things my kitchen hasn't uh, the space too much uh, to have uh, that much furniture or uh, electric appliances uh, and because I have that kind of love-hate relationship with ovens every time I don't own a oven I can live without it and I uh, feel relief on my electricity bill I don't get worried about it anymore I don't own a vacuum cleaner because my uh, home is very uh, small uh, I have small rooms and uh, the total house is very small so I use a room and um, some uh, we call it mop uh, to wet the floor and uh, wipe the floor uh, I don't need to uh, have a vacuum cleaner I don't own a microwave uh, because I've lived without a microwave for 40 years um, after that uh, a friend gifted to me uh, but uh, in this house I had to uh, have uh, another piece of furniture for my kitchen to keep uh, the that microwave so uh, I donated to a friend that uh, needed it uh, I only use it uh, for uh, heating uh, my milk in the morning or for reheating uh, food. Nowadays I have a hot plate and I reheat uh, my uh, leftovers and, my, and I heat my milk in the hot plate. No big problem, no big deal. I don't own an electric toaster anymore. Uh, I had one uh, electric toaster a long time ago when I bought my ha first house at 29. Uh, my brother gifted it to me. Uh, it lasted for about 15 years. Uh, then it broke. Uh, so um, I didn't uh, buy another. Uh, but I like toast. So uh, especially in winter I like uh, my breakfast with a toast uh, so I bought a um, stovetop uh, toaster it, it was about three euros and it lasts it's been lasting for the last three years I think so um, no electric toaster for me uh, at least for now I don't have uh, any uh, fancy pet bowls for my cat. I just use uh, the regular bowls that I already had. Uh, no need to spend uh, money um, in fancy uh, pet bowls. I don't own a bed anymore. Um, <laughs> and this is quite a surprise, I think because in my uh, bedroom tour video I showed you uh, a bed and a mattress but in the meanwhile I fell on the bed and I broke the bed so now I have my mattress uh, on a rack uh, and I'm sleeping in the mattress in the floor uh, and I'm doing fine um, there was times um, in my late twenties that I uh, had already uh, tried to um, uh, sleep in the mattress in the floor and it worked and uh, nowadays and for the last weeks uh, it's been working too so 
uh, no problem, <laughs> no big deal. Finally, I don't hone any desire to quit minimalism. I'm 51 and for about 20 years I've been a minimalist and for the last uh, about 6-7 years I'm more, uh, even more attracted to minimalism or the extreme side of minimalism. So uh, you can count on me on the minimalist side of life. Thank you for watching.